Trauma is the leading cause of death for people under the age of 45. And bleeding is the leading cause of preventable death after trauma. It keeps us alive, but we simply don't have enough of it. Blood shortages and storage problems continue to cause headaches and cost lives. That's why Pittsburgh is joining the push to create something better. KDK's Megan Schiller explains the new progress in creating synthetic blood. It's called synthetic or artificial blood made in the lab you're about to see, and it hopes to fix all of the obstacles human blood has yet to overcome. So this device is called a TEG 6S. Um, you put a sample of blood in it and it makes the blood clot. This is a look inside the University of Pittsburgh lab creating artificial blood. We get to essentially test the early formulations, yeah. So we do get to reconstitute the product, test the product, and see how well it works. Dr. Susan Shea is one of three leading UPMC doctors joining the nationwide team to make synthetic blood a reality soon. This specific um, effort is going to happen over four years. And then by the time it's actually in use, that could be six or eight years. It looks like this, a dried powder with all the same components of human blood. And when you dry a product, you basically just dehydrate it. And all what we need to do is once it in the dry form, literally just add water. Dr. Philip Spinella says think baby formula, but life-saving blood. Liquid whole blood isn't going to always be available, and it's a limited resource because you need it from, from donors. So what we're doing is... Um, trying to make a dried whole blood product that can be shelf stable, put on a helicopter or an ambulance for, for two to three years. It's a need trauma surgeon Dr. Matthew Neal sees every shift. Just last night, his patient flew in from a rural hospital. One of the patients that I took care of last night um, went to one of the smaller regional hospitals with life-threatening bleeding after an injury. That hospital, which is a few hours away from Pittsburgh, um, had only two units of blood available. Ultimately, that patient required more than 10 units of blood. So that hospital had no way to meet that patient's needs. It's no fault of the hospital, it's a blood storage problem. This project is going to make a dried blood substitute that is available, portable, and shelf stable so that it can be taken out on an ambulance, on a helicopter, or put on the shelf at a hospital that wouldn't have otherwise had the capacity to take care of a massively bleeding patient. With an infusion of $46.4 million in funding from the government agency DARPA, these Pittsburgh doctors believe the reach will stretch from hospital beds to the front lines. And Dr. Neal says this will be especially helpful for children whose mortality rate is two times that of adults when it comes to blood loss and bleeding out. He says about 2,000 children die unnecessarily every year because of a lack of blood supply products. We are reporting tonight outside UPMC Presbyterian Hospital in Oakland. I'm Megan Schiller, KDK News.